Welcome back everyone. Today we're talking about the object classes in the SCP Foundation. There are mainly three object classes many have seen. Safe, Euclid, and Keta. But there is more object classes, if you didn't know that. Containment class. Secondary class. Disruption class. Disruption class refers to an anomalous ability to disturb the status quo and or or break the veil. Risk class. Risk class refers to the severity of an anomalous effects on an individual person and how easy Leon can recover from it. Object classes. All anomalous objects, entities, and phenomena requiring special containment procedures are assigned an object class. An object class is a part of the standard SEP template and serves as a rough indicator for how difficult an object is to contain. In universe, object classes are for the purposes of identifying containment needs, research priority, budgeting, and other considerations. An SCP's object class is determined by a number of factors, but the most important factors are the difficulty and the purpose of its containment. Primary classes. These are the most common object classes used in SCP articles and make up the bulk of the objects. Safe. Safe class SCPs are anomalies that are easily and safely contained. This is often due to the fact that the Foundation has researched the SCP well enough that containment does not require significant resources, or that the anomalies require a specific and conscious activation or trigger. Euclid Euclid class SCPs are anomalies that require more resources to contain completely or where containment isn't always reliable. Usually this is because the SCP is insufficiently understood or inherently unpredictable. As a note, any SCP that's autonomous, sentient and or sapient is generally classified as Euclid due to the inherent unpredictability of an object that can act or think on its own. Keta Keta class SCPs are anomalies that are exceedingly difficult to contain consistently or reliably, with containment procedures often being extensive and complex. The Foundation often can't contain these SCPs well due to not having a solid understanding of the anomaly, or lacking the technology to properly contain or counter it. A Keta SCP does not mean the SCP is dangerous, just that it is simply very difficult or costly to contain. Formil Formula class SCPs are anomalies that the Foundation specifically uses to contain other SCPs. Even the mere existence of Thormil class objects is classified at the highest levels of the Foundation and their locations, functions, and current status are known to few Foundation personnel outside of the O5 Council. Neutralized Neutralized SCPs are anomalies that are no longer anomalous either through having been intentionally or accidentally destroyed or disabled. Apollyon Apollyon class SCPs are anomalies that cannot be contained, are expected to breach containment imminently or some other similar scenario. Such anomalies are usually associated with world-ending threats or a K-class scenario of some kind and require a massive effort from the Foundation to deal with. Arkan Arkin class SCPs are anomalies that could theoretically be contained, but are best left uncontained for some reason. Arkin SCPs may be a part of consensus reality that is difficult to fully contain or may have adverse effects if put into containment. These SCPs are not uncontainable. The defining feature of the class is that the Foundation chooses to not put the anomaly into containment. Non-standard object classes. The following object classes are subclasses that supplement the object's primary or former classification. Explained. Explained SCPs are commonly articles about anomalies that are completely and fully understood to the point where their effects are now explainable by mainstream science or phenomena that have been debunked or falsely mistaken as an anomaly. Pending. SCP articles that have not yet been assigned an object class may be labeled as pending. This is used to indicate that the Foundation is actively researching the anomaly, but doesn't have enough information yet to give it an object class. This is a deliberate decision to emphasize that a story is ongoing, and isn't the same as the author not knowing which object class to assign. Esoteric or Narrative Classes Esoteric object classes, also occasionally referred to as narrative classes, 
are object classes that do not fall into any of the above sections. They are generally only used once and are created to further the narrative in a particular SCP. It is highly recommended that SCPs use one of the standard object classes listed here. While some authors choose to introduce exceptions to these rules, they are only very rarely done and need to justify their existence and placement. Many site members will downvote for non-standard object classes if used without merit. Decommissioned Decommissioned SCPs are an object class that was used by senior staff in the past to not only delete unwanted articles, but place them in a sort of wall of shame to serve as examples of what not to do. This object class is not used anymore. Decommissioning articles is not done anymore. Partly because such heavy-handed edits by SCP staff are no longer allowed, and partly because decommissioning ended up backfiring. See the History of the Universe Hub for more historical information about decommissioned SCPs and their usage in the past. Object Class FAQ What is the Locked Box Test? The Locked Box Test is an informal guideline used to determine an object's most appropriate object class. It goes like this. If you lock it in a box, leave it alone, and nothing bad will happen, then it's probably safe. If you lock it in a box, leave it alone, and you are not entirely sure what will happen, then it's probably Euclid. If you lock it in a box, leave it alone, and it easily escapes, then it's probably Keter. If it is the box, then it's probably Thormiel. If you can't fit it in a box and it's about to end the world, then it's probably Apollyon. If you could have locked it in a box but chose not to, then it's probably Arkan. Note that as a special consideration, Something that is autonomous, alive, and or sapient is almost always at least Euclid class. That is, if you lock a living thing in a box and forget about it, it will eventually suffocate or starve to death. And that's not a good outcome. Something that is intelligent could also end up being smart enough to outwit its containment procedures and or stop cooperating with the Foundation's attempts to contain it, making it more dangerous than it otherwise might be. What if I find an SCP that is the wrong object class? The object classes are intentionally left vague as to not limit the author's creative freedom. A rigid to define system of classes might hinder an author's ability to write the way they would want to. And as such multiple proposals to create better defined systems in the past have been turned down by SCP Wiki staff. If you find an SCP article that you feel might be inappropriately classified, Feel free to raise discussion on the topic and see what other community members think. If the explanation is not to your satisfaction, then feel free to express your opinion on the matter and vote accordingly on the page. If an SCP is very dangerous, should its object class be higher? No, danger does not really affect an SCP's object class. As has been reiterated several times above this, an item's object class is more based on the difficulty of containment rather than the danger it otherwise poses. For example, a button that can destroy the entire universe when it's pressed would be safe, whereas a cat who randomly switches places with another cat anywhere on Earth would be considered Keter. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and like. I will later upload other videos talking about the disruption class, risk class, esoteric class, and secondary class, so stay tuned for that. Have a good day, good night, good evening, good afternoon, or a good morning.